Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? And it's time for episode two of Minecraft. Oh, crap. Alright, this always sucks when I start out with a creeper right next to me. Alright, one more hit should destroy it. Alright, so uh, we left off. I believe I just left my food in here. Made some iron ingots. Make that into my iron pickaxe. Oh. Where did that come from? Alright, so the chicken is still there. There's his buddies. And we're gonna go build a temporary base for today. I have a few things to talk about, uh, especially some of the things I've been doing. Uh, not just in game, but as in what I've been doing in my actual life. Uh, other than working, when I'm not working, I'm neither. Well, I'm always playing video games when I'm not working, so. Playing video games, and recently I've been playing Pokemon X. I purchased that, well, pre ordered it a long time ago. And I've been playing that so far, I've about 36 hours into it. I have all eight badges, and I'm on Victory Road. So, so far, doing good in it. Uh, main, main Pokemon is Charizard right now. I think you have in my party Charizard, Lucario, Paulucha, uh, Greninja, which I got from uh, the global trade thing, or whatever it's called, the Wonder Trade. Oh, and wait one second. Uh, what else? Chestnut, which was my starter with Chespin, which turned into Quilladin, and then. I need to chestnut. I also have. What else do I have? Well, anyways, this I don't know. I find this game much easier than the other ones, even much easier than Black and White, which was still pretty easy. Then again, now that I think about it, I was a little kid when I played Blue and Silver. Oh, not I didn't play Silver. I played Gold. When I played Gold, Blue and Gold. But yeah. Yeah, this Pokemon, it's it's fun. The whole Team Flare thing, the new uh, legendaries, pretty cool. This Mega Evolution, it's pretty crazy how they actually Mega Evolve. I didn't think it, I mean, I thought it was just visually, but apparently it actually does some stat-wise, a good amount in stat-wise. thought it'd be unnoticeable, but it makes a big difference. And yeah. Uh, right now I'm just using... Lucario, Lucario, uh, Lucario's Mega Evolution, the Lucario Knight or whatever. Probably should have stayed over there. Whatever. Uh, hopefully, I can find some sheep. Just waiting for the day to come up, so I can finally start making a bed and whatnot. Oh, I have so many freaking skeletons. Okay, yep, just run. Zombies. Wolf, creeper. Damn, there's a lot of chickens here today. But yeah, I'm on my way to to fight the Elite Four. I'm not sure if that's what they're still called. I'm guessing it is. The last Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon Black, yeah, Black is the one I own. Is the Elite Four, so I'm guessing that's what they are. One thing I was, there's a few things I was disappointed in in X. That was the lack of difficulty in it. Uh, being uh, every gym leader only having three Pokemon kind of sucked. I mean, I understand why they would do that, as it's a game for children. So obviously that is the reason. Okay, the run, run, ricochet. Oh no, not ricochet. Is it zigzag? But yeah. Whoa. Okay, cool. I found plains area. This will be good for later on to get horses. Hopefully, find a village. Not there's always a just a forest all around. Man, Pokemon X. There was the difficulty that all gym. The easy part about it was that all the gym leaders only had like a maximum of three Pokemon or so, and it just made it very easy, which kind of sucked for the people that. I mean, have played this game for so long and. I mean, honestly, it just seemed to get easier every time. 
I don't see, I don't understand why. Other than that it's for kids, but I mean, even as a kid, when I played it, it wasn't this easy. They have a lot more stuff in it. The graphics are amazing. It's just, I didn't like the difficulty on it. I felt like it could have been more than what it is right now. Yeah, I guess that's just my, my two cents right there, but... I mean, don't take it from me. I mean, take whatever. You like the game, you like the game. If you don't, you don't. But I, I like the game, in all honesty, in the end. It was a really good series, uh, or really good game so far. And yeah, but difficulty could have been much higher. Would have been better if it was, too. But what can I do? I'm just playing the game. But yeah. Uh, if you did play Pokemon, you would know what I meant. At least hopefully, it'll be a lot easier if you actually played the game instead of just like, oh yeah, it was. But yeah, don't take my opinion for it. If you want to play the game, play it. It's a it's an amazing game, all on its own. So just play the game. It's a it's a good game. It was a good buy, and I don't I don't regret buying it. I just, just don't like that it was <laughs> easy so far. I mean, the ability to just use one Pokemon all game and level up everyone else with XP share and a lucky egg. And there, you got your full level team just in case your main Pokemon dies or faints. Uh, I still remember picking up the game. It was, it was Saturday, of course, everyone knows that. But it kind of sucked. I had to work that day. And it was... A full eight hour shift on Saturday, on a Saturday for myself, as I am part time worker, so that's why it's a full eight hour shift kind of sucks. On a day you're expecting something, and on a day you're not expecting much, you what, what, what do you get? Freaking no hours, or you don't even work. But on Saturday, I worked. I was so excited to go get the game. So I finally got out, like at four or five p.m. I I went to GameStop walking from my house, not too far away, maybe like a mile, a mile and a half. Went to go get the game, and I got, the weird thing was that I got the timeline poster, even though I only purchased one game. And the guy was just being cool with me or something, because I was talking to him before about the, how to get the Torchic and all that, and that he had just learned about this too. So, either I just reminded him about it and he gave me it because of that. Or he was just being a cool guy and it's like, hey, screw it, just take it. Yeah, it was, yeah, so far I'm happy with it. Dude, where was my bed? Oh man, I suck at this. I always lose track of where I leave my stuff. I should probably retrace my steps. I mean, if not, I can just always make another bed, which will... I mean, it isn't too difficult to make another bed. And I only put one coal in there, so it's a good thing I still have my pickaxe. You know what, screw it. Make another bed. I am a f oh, there's sheep over here too, that's cool. Give me your wool. I guess I'm going to have to hurt you with pickaxe. I like the brown ones. The brown ones you don't see much. Those are actually much rarer than any of the other ones. At least naturally spawned. From what I think. I remember before they actually made cocoa beans and a way to get brown wool. Uh, wait, did they have brown wool before? Cocoa beans? I actually don't remember. Huh. I can't remember. If, if they, if they had, um, brown wool before cocoa beans. Or if they just brought it out like how cyan and magenta and whatnot came out. I started mixing the colors. Make this here, this not the pickaxe. That and that. I don't know. I really don't remember. Huh. Alright, gonna cook myself some food. Damn, I hate that I can't remember. I think I'll just look it up later. Or in a bit and tell you guys if I find something or not. But first let me bring up the F3. But that should be good enough. If I have really lost, I'll be able to look back in the video and find that. You know what? I'll be back. I'm gonna go look up the answer to the to my weird questions. All right. So I I found out that their the brown wool is 
has been part of the game for almost three years now. I've played this game for quite a while. Uh, right now you're seeing it sped up because uh, while recording all this, I, I thought I was recording my audio, but I was not. Uh, I ch during this, I chose a place where I'm going to make my base, my temporary base, which is right there, as you can see. Cut down a few trees. Uh, I didn't record the cutting down with the trees because that's annoying. Right here, I'm building the temporary base. Uh, but yeah, uh, the wool had been there for three years already, as of January 2011. It'll be almost three years. And right here, I was talking about Pokemon, how I disliked that it was pretty easy. Uh, although saying that it probably, I probably would have liked it a lot more if it had a like a difficulty setting, to make it hard, easy, novice or something, and whatnot. But yeah, through all this, uh, my mic was apparently muted and did not get any of my voice, so I'm just doing this narration while the video is sped up. Uh, hopefully that doesn't keep happening. But yeah, I chose this part for my base just because there was a few animals around, the water, uh, trees all around, and I could probably make a mine nearby uh, without any problems. Uh, another reason was because I believe there was a plains biome pretty close by. I could use that maybe to find some horses and maybe even a village and whatnot. But I chose this spot nice because it was a nice open area be able to do some fishing later hopefully make myself a uh, the auto fishing thing that I saw Doc M77 make it was a pretty cool idea and I was like hey might as well use it so yeah right here I'm just finishing up my base uh, doing some finishing some small touches actually I'm not even close to finishing it I don't believe I finished it this episode uh, I do apologize once again for this voiceover I did forget about it. I am still new to this, so I will be I will be getting better at this. Don't worry. Uh, you won't be as bored, and you will be getting better footage of me sooner or later. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later. And I'll leave you guys with that. This was episode 2. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.